So we're going to palpate the piriformis, and the first thing we're going to do is find the top of the crest of the ilium, so the superior aspect of the crest. And I'm going to work my way around until I get to the PSIS. So for her, the PSIS is right here, and that's where I'm going to start my palpation. So the piriformis is on the attaching to the anterior surface of the sacrum. So being that that's the case, I can't actually palpate those attachments. So I'm going to do the next best thing, which is to compress the sacrotuberous ligament. So another way to say that is the piriformis is deep to the sacrotuberous ligament. So if I use that lateral edge of the sacrum as my guide, I can compress the sacrotuberous ligament until I feel some resistance, for lack of a better term. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move my thumb, in this case, back and forth and side to side. Okay, so I'm actually compressing, in this case, the sacred tuberous ligament with the goal of palpating as best I can the piriformis as it comes off that anterior sacrum. So again, I'm going to use that lateral sacrum or the edge of that lateral sacrum as a guide. And you can see how my fingers, like my thumb is angled I'm trying to angle in this direction rather than being straight down, which you might actually see me do too. But right now I'm actually angling more in that direction. Okay, so again, compressing. It might be hard to see in the camera here, but I'm moving my thumb back and forth and side to side. So. This would be referred to as transverse friction. Uh, you might also see it as a circular friction if I was using more of a, a circular pattern. And of course this tends to be uh, something you would see in the realm of sports massage. Okay, so as I've been working through here, I've been kind of zooming in or getting more specific and again feeling that lateral sacrum or using that lateral sacrum as a guide and trying to get as close to that as I can to pick up as many of those attachments as I can. Okay, so from here I'm gonna jump over to here because I just covered all that territory and by the way that was most of pretty much the width of the piriformis as it comes off the sacrum so just to give you an idea from here to that PSIS that's a, that's about the width of the piriformis as it comes off the sacrum but due to that sacred tuberous ligament I'm going to continue to follow that lateral edge of the sacrum because the piriformis is actually attaching to the sacred tuberous ligament. Okay, so from here, I'm going to jump back down a little bit more. Again, finding that lateral aspect of the sacrum and then angling again you can see I'm trying to angle more in that direction so I'm not going straight in or vertical more in an angle compressing that tissue first in this case the sacred tuberous ligament and then adding that friction So as I'm going through this, I'm not looking for or feeling for a release. 
I'm just looking to cover all this ground with the intention of working on the attachments of the piriformis. Okay, so you can see, let's put the pelvis here, the sacrum. You can see that uh, I was here initially, just coming right off of that PSIS down into the sacred tuberous ligament as it comes off the PSIS. Fall that lateral sacrum until I get to approximately here. And then from there, we're going to go over to the trochanter and you can see this would be you know, you're looking at it from a posterior view and so right now we're going to work right in here okay so you're looking from a superior view there and we're going to look for this notch right in through here and we can do that you might you might be able to tell that she is actually laterally rotated right now. Depending on how you learned it, uh, externally rotated. So I have her thigh turned out and that's going to bring that attachment that's going over to the trochanter to me. Okay, so I can actually access that. And uh, that of course is important because if I can't get to the attachment then I'm not going to get the result. So what I'm doing here is I'm coming from the head of the table and trying to get perpendicular to that as, as much as I possibly can. And again by laterally rotating or externally rotating her thigh at the hip I can get that angle. So you're going to feel that tendon come in, you kind of feel for that notch, and then once you feel for that tendon and or notch, trying to be as perpendicular as you can, you're going to compress that tissue, or I'm going to compress that tissue right into the trochanter. So again, compressing, this time directly into the bone. And then I'm going to get that side to side or back and forth friction massage. So you figure I'm using my thumb, so that's going to cover a lot of territory. The key is once you're in here is to try to get a lay of the land and be even more specific as you work. Okay, try to visualize how that tendon comes into the trochanter. Feel for that notch and hit or dress that attachment from as many angles as you can while trying to stay as perpendicular as you can. The only other thing that I do that you can't see in the video here is I had her slide to her left so that her entire thigh is supported by the table and then I put a small bolster like half of a small bolster under her ankle to prevent that leg from falling off the table. Okay, so that covers the attachments of the piriformis. Thanks for watching.